In this video, we're going to show how to get some emotional takes out of this poker face. So faces can be amazing. They can be expressive with just a look as opposed to blah right now. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Well, I'll give you something to be scared about. But there's lots of different ways you can approach this. In fact, there is a facial rig. You can select the facial rig, hold down the shift key and move any of these points, then set keyframes. Now it is an extremely complex rig. Oh, you, you didn't like that. Well, the process can be complex. Yeah. And you don't want it to be complex. I can see you're a little bit worried, but don't worry. There is a fast way to deal with this. What if I told you that it was actually pretty simple? It's so easy that we will go over the entire process and give you resources in under two and a half minutes. So think happy thoughts and let's get started. Okay, so let's go over the process. I've got the metahuman and I brought it into a sequencer and I'm deleting the control rig. We just need the face rig and I'm going to hit shift F8 and bring up the animation mode here and open up poses. Now with poses open, it'll bring up this dialogue and we are going to bring this over and what we need folder with the facial expressions. So to do that, we're going to right click and say add existing folder view, and then find that specific folder, which is under metahumans, common, common, and facial or pose library, and then face and hit OK. So now we'll be able to get access to that folder in this area. And inside of it, there's a bunch of expressions and we can take those expressions and apply those to the facial rig. So we just select the face expression we want to apply. Then we select controls and then we can set a key to any of those faces and we can do it for another one. We'll say select controls and paste the face expression pose. That's really, that's all there is to it. If you want to see the transition between the two poses that you've set, I hit M to set a marker on the timeline and then I'm holding down the shift control comma and period to slide the slider back and forth between those two. Um, in addition to the expressions, there's a couple other folders that you can look at and add poses to. There's the whole Vizims folder here where you've got um, these are standard mouth shapes that animators have used for years to do uh, facial animation for, for talking. And then there's also uh, additional combinations of facial expressions in this folder. So this was just the basics. There's a ton of other ways of doing facial motion capture, as well as some additional great information on the facial action coding system, which I highly recommend. So that'll wrap things up. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like and make sure to subscribe for more weekly Unreal content.